Hello everyone, welcome back to Budget Scenery Workshop. Firstly, massive apology for being away for a while. Um, it started out, I had really bad hair fever, and then the weather calmed down, I felt a lot better, and then I didn't. But now I'm back and I have re very recently just finished this build, which is, as you can tell from the title of the thumbnail, the House from Charmed. Now, um, there were a couple of different variations I noticed. There must be, like, a newer version of Charmed from the house that I saw, but I decided to go on the house that I saw the most <laughs> reference pictures of. And you'll, you'll see at the end, anyway. I'll, I'll throw up a little picture-in-picture picture for you. But um, I was actually commissioned to do a um, this from a friend of a friend, actually, so... I hope that they're pleased with it. Um, techniques I'm using here is nothing you haven't seen a thousand times before. Here I'm just using the, I'm making the front bay kind of windows out of uh, hardboard. Then I'm sticking them together using super glue and uh, baking powder just to make that really strong bond. Um, in hindsight, I would have uh, made the windows like I made the ones uh, later on. You, you'll see how I make my windows. But um, yeah, I wasn't thinking at this time. But really early on, I made a mistake and it was putting these on because as you can see, uh, on the right there, there's a window at the top and a window at the bottom. And on the left, on the bottom, there is the door. Then up above that, there's the little balcony. But that's not, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a flat wall. It's supposed to be, you know, like inset, I guess. So, yeah, I, I made a mistake really early on. But luckily, I, I caught it pretty much out right after I built this. Yeah, but right after I built this section, because I did a little mock-up drawing here, which is, oh, my drawing is terrible. But I didn't do, like... A bird's eye plan of it I was like hang on why doesn't this look right so there you can see my plan my measurements so I just went oh right yeah so I just went ahead and cut it um, luckily the cut was nice and straight then I could just go ahead and begin sticking everything together uh, a lot of uh, future progress from here will mainly be pictures I'm not gonna lie but it was it was all very um, it was all very boring. Uh, it was I found it I was talking way too much. I normally don't talk this much. Uh, yeah, it was very very wordy. Um, and all I was doing basically I was just cutting foam cardboard, gluing it together in a house shape really. And I didn't feel you needed to see every single step of that. So here there. That I was happy with that. That's the front. And um, I decided early on that I, I wouldn't be able to make a doll's house. So, But I could make a shell, basically a house with no insides. So I, I messaged my friend and she let her friend know. And luckily enough, they were happy to go ahead. So I, I just didn't want to disappoint anyone. Um, I could have made the inside, but personally I think it would look terrible and I would have spent much, much longer on it. So here I'm just making the roof caps and I finished the roof, as you can see. I obviously finished the walls as well and I'm just filling in these really obnoxious gaps with wood filler. Normally I'd use poly filler, but I didn't have any. Wood filler, pretty much the same thing. Now here is how I made the windows. Um, if I knew this when I got started, this is how I would have done the front bay windows as well. But hey ho, with the power of hindsight, all it is is a cross stitch mesh and this hardboard again. And just again, just using super glue, glue all together. And yeah, I was happy with these results. Um, the doors were pretty much exactly the same as well. And here I am just gluing them on. 
making sure the spacing is okay. Now this is just the little balcony and all this is, is coffee stir sticks. I just cut up to shape and glued them on. I did the exact same for both sides. Then um, for the balcony, that was again just coffee stir sticks and lollipop sticks. And there we are. There's the sides. As you can see, very simple because, you know, I'm not a, <laughs> not a very good builder. But I, I was happy with this. It, um, it looked pretty much how it was supposed to. Okay, you can see I'm just adding the uh, XPS wood panelling to the sides of the house. And then after that, I'll be doing the tiles. Then just finishing up like the like the balcony which I already have built here. So yeah, it's going okay. Uh, fingers crossed it <laughs> finishes up okay as well. Yeah, so from here on in, it's pretty much just uh, pictures. So all I did was just cut the XPS foam to shape, then glue it to the all the walls. Also did the beams down the side. Yeah, I was happy with it. Once I started putting the XPS on, I was, you know, I could see how it looked finished. Uh, for the roof tiles, all it was was just cereal boxes cut up and like aligned correctly. Then again, I just went down the uh, creases with uh, wood filler to cover up any gaps. Here I am. This is just working on the front uh, windows. That's then completed. Then all it was is just to paint. Yeah, I was yeah, reasonably happy with this. I've never really done something of this size before. But um, yeah, hopefully uh, the person who this is for is pleased with it. Uh, I'm sure they'll let me know if they're not. Or they'll let my friend know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, the final bits I did was just add the wooden beams onto the end of the roofs there, and there we go. That is the house from Charmed. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, leave a like if you like this. If you are not subscribed, please do so. And if you would like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon are in the comments and description. Bye for now.